Good afternoon, folks. We're going to review an advanced space weather concept, but one that's actually not challenging to understand and which is critically important for forecasting space weather activity. So we've been getting lots of questions about how long this high solar activity is going to last, and technically there are two answers. One of them follows the sunspot cycle. The higher sunspot numbers and higher overall flaring usually last two to four years at the peak. So we've got about one to two years left of sunspot maximum but that does not tell the whole story. Now, please forgive the crudeness of this simplified curve presentation, but it will do. It is well understood that the geomagnetic maximum and the sunspot cycle are out of sync. For reasons not fully understood, the highest geomagnetic storm marks lag the sunspot cycle by one to three years. Yes, we get some solid geomagnetic storms and more storm conditions overall during sunspot maximum, but the largest storms often occur after the maximum, and the higher storming conditions continue during the declining phase of the sunspot cycle. The stronger the solar storms one is studying, the more prevalent this lag becomes. So taking that sunspot record since 1900, I have labeled with green lines here six points, these represent the 1909, 1921, 1972, 2003, 2005, and 2017 solar storm conditions. These are six of the top 12 solar storms of this entire period, and they happened during that declining phase of the sunspot cycle. The other top six were 1903, 1958, 1989, 1991, 2001, and 2024, just a few weeks ago. Those did hit sunspot maximum. None of the top 20 events were during the incline or minimum phase of the cycle. So here we can see just one exemplification of how sunspot maximum has a bit of a lag with geomagnetic storm maximum. Half of the greatest solar storms since 1900 hit that declining phase of the cycle rather than solar max. And while sunspot maximum will last one to two more years, in terms of the strong geomagnetic storm activity, we probably have another four or five more years of elevated alert. This is amplified by the weakening of Earth's magnetic field in the ongoing pole shift. I hope this was informative and answers the question I'm sure many of you have. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.